Hey everyone, Multiple 456 the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 101 of Les Platinum Horizon Zero Dawn. The future. What are we gonna plug into their heads, Les? A whole lot of history. A whole lot of so called truth. A whole, a whole lot of noise. It's not pablum, Les. It's poison. What's pablum? I've never heard that word before. Oh well. Um. Pablum, pablum, pablum. Nope, I can't even think of like a root word to work off. Looks like it survived the blast. Because it was armored, you found the control room. I'm on my way. Come on, I'm on my way. Oh crap, I almost died. <laughs> What'd you say, March? <laughs> That's such a great episode. He's supposed to pick up Bart from soccer practice, and um, he's watching. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, <laughs> and and the and the answer or the clue is a phrase, and it's I'm on my way, <laughs> and he just reads it. I've been taking a hard look at the project. In the end, it's simple. It's clean. It's clear. Erasure. Addition by subtraction. I can make a better list. With a single stroke, I can go. I really don't like the direction this is going. Continue. Hmm. Alright, I climbed up from behind as well. <laughs> Woo! Alright, so that's probably where I'm supposed to go. Let's see if I can find anything special. Nope. Oh, what was that? Was it dropped a ledge or was it... It was probably dropped a ledge, yep. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> This colour here reminds me of a game that was on the PS3, PS Plus quite a long time ago. Uh, it was called Remember Me, and it also had a female protagonist. Quite a good game, actually. It was one of those, like, nice, easy, fodder-type platinums where you kind of just play through the story, and then I think you had to go back and... I don't know if I had to play through it twice, I may have had to. But I remember I played through it and I was like, this is alright. I don't remember the story at all because I have a severe problem of completely forgetting everything. <laughs> Uh, after a little while. Okay, that's how to get back to the beginning quite quickly. Um, but yeah, that colour definitely reminds me of that. If you ever have a chance to play Remember Me, if you've still got it on your PS Plus or whatever and haven't played it, play it. It's a decent game. Not too long. Um, pretty interesting. Fun combat system. Fun levelling up mechanics and stuff like that. I do remember a very bare minimum of that. It does that's not the wallet inspector. <laughs> I was gonna say, that doesn't look like a robotic corpse. <clears throat> what? When I opened the hatch, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the alphas were in there. Oh, wait a second. Are these the... These are like all the people that we've been learning about. Margot Shen, Ted... Farris? Why do I think it's Farris? Is it Farris? Let's find out. Ted... Farrow. Oh, that was close. Um... Where's those... Okay, it's still on the thing. Um, anyway. Anything in here except for this? Nope. Beep, boop, 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 beep, beep, beep. I'm locked out of court control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh, I've, uh, please stop trying to access the sense system, okay? See, see, what this is about is, um, I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. And what, what I'm trying to say is I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents. Those blameless men and, 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 and women. We're going to give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted, we've talked about this before. 
Apollo has 3,000 plus fail-safe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're gonna give them the disease. Our disease? No. We can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Ted, it doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone. All of it. Every copy. A sacrifice? It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, innocents have to die. Emergency alert. Protecting Alex. Ted, you bastard, you killed everyone. Naughty boy. No! Why must there be so much death? <laughs> Alright, anyway, um... Was that what? Oh yeah, that was the one he just thing. Yay, we got them all! Hooray! All the data point holograms. We killed them all. So this is why. This is why we were trapped in benighted ignorance for an innocent future. Blameless men. <laughs> he never saw the slaughter in the sun ring. Everything these people achieved. All the knowledge of the old ones. He evaporated turn to dust scattered to the void like the alphas themselves no not a void when the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind it took them out among the world they made the world we are living in it's it's a monument to what they died trying to accomplish a monument to oblivion not oblivion silence All right. Oh, what's this? Oh, the master override. All right. Let's grab it. The master override. It's so small. Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it. All right. Well, let's go. Return to Silence Workshop. All right. So he he wanted to get rid of. Apollo because it was all the knowledge that we had basically like you know us humans knowledge Try not to fall to your death. Am I jumping the there or override doesn't override gravity Oh here yeah. I almost jumped up there <laughs> um, Yeah, okay, so all the, the entire history of human knowledge was Apollo and they wanted to preserve that in order to teach it to Let's call them the new ones, because we're the old ones. Um, and so he wanted to do that, but then Ted decided that the reason that they screwed everything up in the first place was because of all the knowledge. So he wanted to destroy it so that they wouldn't do it again, or they wouldn't make the same mistake. Eh. I think regardless of where you start, humans will always be... <laughs> Uh, able to cause destruction. So, I don't know. It's pointless killing, I think. Uh, with all those people who were trying to help the situation. But, it's a video game, so... It's not super, super important. <laughs> Alright, so Sans workshop was just here. Uh, you're here. Of course he is. For a moment. Our journey together has come to an end, Aloy. But before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Go on. Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been involved with the Eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. I found Hades, Aloy, buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered such knowledge 
You have no idea. And in exchange? I helped create the Eclipse. Helped it build a cult. An army to do its will. Why are you telling me this now? Because your success depends on knowing this. When I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the Spire. Not Meridian. The Spire. Now why would that be? The Spire was created by Gaia. Which part of Gaia? M Minerva. It's code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Vera robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems. Hades wants to send a new transmission to wake the machines so they can devour the world all over again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse, the robots they resurrected, they're just a means to an end. An army to capture the Spire. Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again. Unless you stop it. Tell me everything about you and Hades. I want you to tell me everything. Hades, the Eclipse. Everything. It's a long story, Aloy. Then get started. It began with a focus. Recovered from an ancient ruin, as yours was so many years ago. In my case, the device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally, I succeeded. A whole new dimension of perception was viewed, right before my eyes. That's when I detected it. A faint signal. Out there, something was searching, just like I was. Kindred spirit. I followed the signal to its source. A shattered titan buried in the jungles of the jewel. So you thought it was a titan? An old war machine? I didn't know what to think. I'd seen such wreckage before. The Grave Horde, for example. But this was different. This was not quite dead. It couldn't speak when I found it until my repairs gave it a voice. So began an exchange of knowledge. It wanted to know everything about our world, its tribes and machines. But the Spire was always its foremost concern. What did it want to know about the Spire? Its precise location, the surrounding geography, who controlled the land. Meanwhile, Hades revealed to me many of the intricacies of ancient technology. It bid me to recover and repair more focuses. Before long, I had a couple dozen up and running. Enough to equip a small army. The commanders of one, anyway. I didn't care. I was learning so much. Physics, calculus. You would have no idea. And the Shadow Karja? How did they become involved? The Karja Civil War was a happy coincidence. A perfect opportunity. <laughs> An opportunity? That's what it was to you? Yes. Overnight, half the tribe was in exile, desperate to win back Holy Meridian. Their religion made them easy to manipulate. All I had to do was present Hades as the buried shadow of their mythology. So yes, it was an opportunity. I arranged for High Priest Bahavas to meet with Hades. Helis was there as well. And so the Eclipse was born. Anything to win back Holy Meridian. But Hades didn't care about Meridian. And neither did you. We live in a world of fallen cities and banished tribes. What were a few more? Besides... I was too busy setting up the cult's focus network to Hades' specifications. A thrilling technical challenge, especially with the alterations I included of my own design. The ability for you to spy on them. Yes. I may have been foolish enough to serve Hades, but I was never so foolish that I trusted it. I installed what the ancients used to call a back door in the network. 
secret access, empowering me to monitor all activity and communications. What made you turn on Hades? It certainly wasn't your conscience. Actually, I was troubled the first time I saw the Eclipse raise an ancient war robot with my technology. I questioned Hades about its intentions. A little late. Indeed. I'd already outlived my usefulness. When I completed work on the Focus Network, Hades summoned me to receive my reward. The next moment, I heard it broadcast my kill order. I've been a fugitive ever since. So when did I come into this? Our path together? When Olin stumbled on you. System threat detected. That got my attention. A kill order against a savage Norga? Why would Hades bother with that? But then I saw that this Nora girl was wearing a focus and bore an uncanny resemblance to a great scientist of the old world. Helis moved quickly. I thought you were dead. But then I detected your focus inside the Nora mountain. The more I observed you, the more convinced I became of your extraordinary nature and usefulness. Through you, I could finally discover the secrets of the Earth. I vowed to do everything I could to ensure your success. The rest, as they used to say, is history. Is there nothing you want to do for knowledge? You've done what you could to make up for your mistakes. Eh, you've done right. terrible things, Silence. But you've also done what you could to undo them. I can't say you've balanced the scale, but at least you've tried. To be clear, Aloy, I would do it all again. A few more safeguards, perhaps, but basically the same. Really? So much for learning from mistakes. I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lens. Fit the master override to it, and you have a means of injection. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Oh, no problem. Silence! Where will you go? Elsewhere. And everywhere. There's so much more to discover. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. I was merely trespassing. <laughs> all right, cool. So I pretty much learned everything about silence now. Uh, attach them. Oh, okay. Let's do that then, shall we? I almost like immediately jumped out of here before doing this. I was like planning what to do next and So is that my spear now? Awesome. Silent Lance. What does it do? Oh. Covered a powerful weapon. This melee weapon, yeah. Heavy shock attack. Does it have... Uh, I can't modify it. That would have been smart. Why not add modification abilities? They're going to increase its damage, increase its tear and its shock. Hmm. It's very odd. I don't know why they wouldn't allow me to do that. What's this one? The Looming Shadow. Alright, the Looming Shadow is the final quest, I'm pretty sure. Uh, duplicated focus data. I travelled far to find you.
In shadow. Incorrect. Bow before the buried shadow. The buried shadow? I... I don't understand. Did Aramon understand the Clint Hawk? Oops. I didn't mean to interrupt that one. See if it keeps going. Nope. Alright, that's fine. Um, Alright, what we're gonna do... We're gonna do two things. We're gonna go real quick to here to hand in that quest um, I guess I would normally cut, cut this out but I'll leave it in so I can explain what we're gonna do um, so we're gonna go here to hand in an errand that we had uh, from a few episodes ago it was the one where we went to find I can't remember his name Kent Kendert or something like that and now we have to go talk to Jira um, so we're gonna hand in that errand then we're going to go to the ruins uh, at the beginning of the, beginning of the game to get the shield weaver outfit um, so we can get that trophy as well and then finally I have to make sure um, yeah I guess I'll do it between episodes I have to make sure that I have all the side quests complete like all the the ones that I require because there's a trophy um, related to, to that and basically what happens I think what happens is the looming shadow that the quest that we have now is the last quest if you complete it you are allowed to complete it again in like not new game plus but just like you'll probably be able to just uh free roam or whatever around the world and you can complete it again um but you have to have all the quests so that all the allies join you basically certain side quests um give you access to certain allies um and then they can help you in the uh, uh at the end so I have to make sure that I uh, have all those and I think I do but yeah I'll do it off screen and I'll also show you on screen to show you which ones um, you need oh that was the roundabout way of getting there any sign of that man I found him Jira I think you two will have a lot to talk about I like a good story and a good drink it's why I'm good at what I do he's bringing you both Kendrick wants to be with you he regrets that he took the word of the... Elderman? Women know their place in the plane, was their word. It's the Karja's son that bakes their brains and gives them such thoughts. That's... The tribe. He can't bear a grudge. It'd make you go mad. My silly man. Little Spark, how can I thank you? There'll always be a drink for you at Hunter's Gathering. All right, you get a generous reward box. Fine, all good. How are we going on the data points? So we almost collected all these. 
Uh, we only missed one there. And one there. It's fine. Hologram's good. Quests missing three, but they might still be coming. And then we got all these ones from the world. That's pretty good. Just missed three glyphs. I think I did a pretty good job. 91.61. Um, okay, so we got to end the episode now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast travel to uh, these... Is it this one? No, this one here. To this uh, location uh, off screen. And when um, I return, I'll be... I'll be getting the, uh, the Shield Weaver outfit by going to the ruins again. So I will meet you there, um, but for the time, well, I'll meet you there next episode. So I want to thank you all for watching episode 101 of Let's Platinum Horizon Zero Dawn. My name is Ultima456, the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.